Hi guys, welcome to another course of uh, MrLopezClasset.com. This is uh, a new course of uh, marine air conditioning and refrigeration. It's a wonderful course. I hope uh, you enjoy this class. In this course, we are going to analyze the different type of air conditioning systems in marine applications. We are going to analyze the self-contained unit, the chiller unit. Uh, we are going to analyze the split units and we are going to uh, uh, study in details the compressor, the evaporator, the expansion valve, all the components of, uh, of the refrigeration cycle. This class follows the same procedure of uh, other courses. We are going to use the textbook, Marine Air Conditioning Systems, and uh, we are going to use also the ABYC study guide for air condition systems. Yes, at the end of this course, you will be ready to take the ABYC uh, air condition certification. And uh, yes, we are going to, to study hard, we are going to work hard uh, in order to understand the air conditioning systems. Uh, we are going to start checking in the chapter chapter number one, the, the, the fundamentals of the air condition system. We are going to try to understand why, for what reason, that magic equipment produce cold air. How is that process? What happened internally? What is the mystery of the air condition system? And uh, for what reason the air condition systems are a little complicated for the majority of the technician, but really, really are too simple. This is the chapter number one. In chapter number two, we are going to analyze the cycle of refrigeration in details. This is the secret. This is the basic, the structure, the fundamentals of, uh, of this system is the cycle. How? the refrigerant pass from vapor to liquid, to liquid, to gas, to vapor, uh, and, and return. This is a, is a cycle. The secret, the secret we are going to study is the refrigerant. This is the magic element. This is the magic substance that absorb heat and release heat. Yes, it's the refrigerant. Yes, this is the chapter number two. In the chapter number three, we are going to analyze the heart of the system, the compressor, and how the compressor works because this is the element that uh, compressed the refrigerant and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and added or removed uh, a, a pressure on the, on the, on the system, the, uh, the compressor. And we are going to analyze the different type of compressors uh, depending on the application and what type of compressors are commonly used in marine applications and uh, what type of compressors are used in industrial application in refrigeration uh, systems. This is chapter number three. In chapter number four, we are going to analyze the evaporator. Yeah, other vital component, and we are going to verify the different type of evaporators and how the evaporator work uh, in, the, in the different type of uh, system. If it's a chiller system, self-contained unit. Uh, the, the, depending on the system, the evaporator have a little, a little difference. We are going to study the evaporator in this particular uh, chapter. In chapter number five, we are going to analyze the accumulator, the expansion valve, and the Y valve. With the Y valve, we can produce the cycle of a cooling and, a, a, and heating because the Y valve, that magic valve, send the refrigerant through the evaporator or to the a condenser. Depending where is going the, the, the refrigerant, you have a heating mode or cooling mode. And this is possible with the Y valve. And we are going to analyze the Y valve in this chapter, in the chapter number five. In chapter number six, we are going to analyze a magic, magic design is the chiller system. Uh, why the chiller system is uh, more efficient in a, in a big complex like a, a university campus and hospitals. Uh, those those uh, areas use commonly uh, the chiller system because uh, with the chiller system, you use less amount of refrigerant and you use fresh water. And with the chilled water, you produce the cooling, the cooling mode. Wonderful, chiller system. This is the chapter six. And uh, this is another nice uh, episode related with the chiller system and uh, the pump relays. And the pump relays is, uh, is another important uh, decision in marine applications. Because uh, with the pump relays, we are going to use only one pump only one through hole uh, for uh, four, five, six compressors with only one pump. And that pump, that pump is activated per each, per each, 
per each thermostat of each evaporator depending of uh, the necessity. That's the pump relay. Uh, this is a, a gr great design in order to uh, create only one true hole in the boat and install only one pump with the capacity to supply water for the rest of the compressor, the pump relay system. This is in this chapter, in the chapter number six. Yeah. In chapter number seven, uh, this is <laughs> one of the most important episodes, is how to recover the refrigerant, how to add it refrigerant again how to use the, the vacuum pump, how to use uh, uh, the, rec the recovery uh, uh, machine. The recovery machine, they say that uh, blue machine over there is used to recover the refrigerant and uh, to avoid, destroy the environment. Because this is the, the problem with the, with the today, yeah? Uh, is uh, the destruction of the environment because the refrigerant goes out. Yeah, we are going to analyze what happened in that situation and how can you avoid that. This is important if you work in a, in, with marine air conditioning system, you need to work professionally, you need to recover the refrigerant and add the refrigerant in a professional way in order to avoid release refrigerant into the environment because uh, the refrigerant we are going to study in the next episode uh, uh, destroys the environment, uh, separate the molecules of oxygen and uh, produce too much ozone close, close to the surface of the earth that's not good, and, uh, and uh, the, the, the ozone close to the surface of the air is corrosive. The ozone in the stratosphere is good because protect for uh, the intrusion of uh, a, a UV rays. But uh, here, close to the to the surface of the air is not good. It's leather, destroy everything, and because it's highly corrosive. Okay, this is chapter number seven. In chapter number eight. This is one of my best sellers. We are going to do the wiring. We are going to connect the AC panel with the control box of the air condition, with the thermostat, and we are going to understand how the current is moving in the system to activate the system. Yes, this is a similar, similar episode, similar to the episode that I did uh, some years ago with the electrical system. Uh, when I explained the procedure to wire, to wire a boat completely, uh, excuse me, when I explain the procedure uh, to do the wiring uh, for a harness of a, an engine gas or diesel. Uh, this is a similar episode. In this episode, we are going to do the wiring of an air conditioned equipment completely, cable by cable, wire by wire. Uh, that is a nice episode. Um, I spent a lot of hours preparing that episode uh, I, I hope you enjoyed this episode. This is how to do the wiring in an air conditioned system in the chapter eight. All right, in chapter nine, yes, we are going to analyze the refrigerants, the different type of refrigerants used in marine applications, and, uh, and uh, we are going to uh, take the EPA certification, the EPA uh, uh, certification in order to uh, buy and, uh, and uh, replace and uh, recover uh, refrigerant in a professional way. You need the EPA certification. You need that certificate. And uh, I am going to explain the procedure step by step uh, to do uh, uh, the, the, the exam. And, and I am going to explain the procedure step by step uh, to take the EPA certification. It's simple that the certification uh, is uh, online. Uh, is, uh, is not expensive, it's $25, and I am going to explain the procedure to do that certification uh, online, all right? The EPA certification, okay? This is part of the chapter nine. And uh, the chapter 10 is, uh, is wonderful, is how to size an air conditioning equipment. Oh, okay, uh, my boat, the dimension of my boat is this, uh, the, the structure of, of my boat is this, the material of my boat is this. According with that information, I am going to calculate what is the capacity in BTUs required uh, for the air condition in your boat. And uh, how many air condition equipments are recommended? Probably one, two, three, five, depending on the configuration of the boat. And where should be located those air condition equipments? And after that, we are going to calculate the grills and the ducts, the dimension of those grills, the dimension of those ducts, 
in order to uh, use those air conditioned equipment properly, highly efficient. Yes, this is a this is a, a chapter dedicated to calculation. First of all, we are going to calculate the equipment in BTUs, single phase, double phase, or three phase, in BTUs, or 24 volts or 12 volts DC. There are air conditioned equipment DC. And uh, after that, we are going to calculate the ducts, the diameter of the duct, the diameter of the grills, and we are going to select the equipment in internet according with the price and uh, according with the, the quality. This is the air conditioned uh, course, and uh, all the time we are going to follow uh, the recommendations uh, of ABYC. Uh, in that way, at the end of this uh, uh, course, you are ready to take the ABYC certification. That's optional if you want it. If not, that's your decision. I recommend try to take that certification if you want to work in the United States, uh, working with uh, marine air conditioning systems, uh, you need that certification. If you are working in other country, uh, probably you don't need the ABYC certification, but uh, with this course, you will be ready to start to work in the marine air condition uh, systems. Uh, I am going to explain in one of the chapters the tools uh, necessary to you to work in this business. Uh, the equipment, the vacuum pump, the recovery pump, uh, the set of gauge, all of the tools that you need exactly that I I did in other uh, uh, books, in other courses, electrical courses, electronic courses, I explained the tools that you needed. Yeah, here in this class we are going to do the same, we are going to follow the same procedure. We are going to explain what type of tools are necessary to work uh, in, in the air conditioned systems. Um, okay, I hope you enjoy this class, enjoy this course. Once again, uh, the book is available in my webpage uh, and uh, also is available in my Facebook uh, page. And uh, also, you can, uh, if you are a student of Broward College, you can buy the book and the, and the study guide in the bookstore if you have financial aid. If you are a student of the West Palm Beach College, the Los Cayos College, uh, you can buy those books in your bookstores. Thank you. Enjoy this class.